Hello everyone, I am joined by your 1500 Six Max champion, Ognyan Dimov. Now, first off, I think we just have to get out of the way. Bulgaria, I feel like it is exploding for whatever reason. We've seen a huge rail following you through this whole whole event. Tell me a little bit about what's, what's happening in the poker scene in Bulgaria. Well, I would say that uh, our potential is even bigger, so you should expect even more success. Uh, about the rail, we're a really tight group. We're traveling together everywhere and supporting each other, of course. And that's pretty standard thing for our nation to cheering up for each other. And I already said in uh, the other interview that whoever was at the final table, the rail was going to be the same. So. Uh, they support each other. That's how it should be. Well, you already have an EPT title, now a WSOP, so I'm sure you'll, you'll be on to the, the Triple Crown shortly. But I wanted to talk a little bit about what it feels like to, to capture this event, to capture a, a bracelet compared to some of your other accolades. It's amazing. Uh, I guess uh, I will understand what happened probably after the summer. It's still too fresh and the emotions aren't exploding right now, but uh, I hope uh, I'm going to appreciate what has happened later. Well, your bankroll will definitely appreciate it. More than 360k is a pretty solid. Uh, so solid. Because the grind is going to be much easier this summer, so it's really, really nice that uh, I won the bracelet uh, in the first week uh, while I'm here. Yeah. You can play whatever you want now. It keeps it pretty easy. Well, for a 1500 event, the, f the final table was stacked. It was I was actually really surprised when I looked at the final table. And there was definitely a lot of interesting spots. I think I would be you know, remiss if I didn't mention the hero call against Ryan D'Angelo. A lot of people were super impressed by this play. Can you kind of talk, for those who missed it, for you know our viewers at home, kind of talk us through this and, and you know how you're able to make that kind of like next, next level play? Yeah, well... I would say that uh, probably this hand uh, decided the things in my direction and was the most important. Uh, he was, what can I say, like uh, he was uh, representing really a few combos, so I had the best bluff catcher and with his sizing he was polarized and not many hands made sense for him and I just made the call. I had the chips, I could afford making hero call and I was right and it worked great in my way. From a viewer's perspective it was fantastic to watch and I think then it was also you know fantastic to see you win. We all love a hero call, we all somebody you know we love somebody who's able to to have the balls to kind of you know make the calls when you need to so it was it was great to watch as a poker fan. I for one was really excited. Well you've got he's not only did he have a rail there all day, but he also has a whole group of people who came to support him yeah. to get his bracelet. So I'll let you get back to celebrating with them, but I really appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the summer. You're with us here on PokerNews.com.